I look kind of silly. <laughs> I don't drive with my glasses on, trust me. Uh, hi, everybody. I thought I would just jump on and give you a hi, everybody. Um, today is Thursday, the 25th of March, 2021. Um, Jim's second day off this week and he's running into Kroger just to get a few groceries. So I thought I would just pick up the phone and see how everybody's doing. Look, rocking the Fry Life merch. It's kind of icky rainy out today. Um, I have to, full disclosure, I'm still in my nightgown or my pajamas. The second good's pajamas. I put a hoodie on and went out of the house because it is what it is. And I'm out of the house and that's it. It's rainy and yucky, but I said, let's go. We have, um, since I mentioned the last Starbucks, I was given a generous gift and was able to get more Starbucks. So we're gonna go here, pick up some prescriptions, then swing by Starbucks. I had an amazing few days last week and an awful few days this week. <laughs> um, I have tried all of my things. Um, again, I'm still try. I'm still finding, not trying. I'm still finding my pockets of joy and pockets of peace in every day. Um, but the other moments um, are extra, kind of like overwhelming a little bit. So. Um, there's that. I I, I want to say I'm tired of it, but I mean, because I'm tired of it. And every time I forcefully try to stop, I find myself 14 state steps back. Like last week, I just did all the things despite how I was feeling. I pushed through and I did the things anyway. And I was like tabled for like three days. And what I mean by tabled is I couldn't do anything, like anything, you know. I uh, got up, made my Metamucil and my coffee and got back into bed, cause I couldn't do anything. And actually one day I didn't even do that. I just got up, went to the bathroom and then went back to bed because I'm exhausted. So uh, I'll just see what Jim wants and I'll catch you guys. He had a question about some zucchini. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I didn't eat good. Well, good. I didn't eat good. I haven't been as a diligent with my carb intake. Um, mostly, but not mostly because, and this is not an excuse. This is just the reason I have given myself grace. You guys have to give me grace too. You don't have to just, I don't care. Um, I don't have the energy to do the meal prep. So I talked to him today and we have all these things like these house projects that we want to start and things we want to get done around the house. And I was like, I don't push you to do these things because you're working really hard. Plus you're taking care of me and whatever energy you can spare, we need to like make food for our bodies and do the minimal, like do the dishes, clean the counters, like the minimal housekeeping things to try to think that we're going to focus a ton of energy into DIY makeover parts of the house is kind of like unrealistic at this point. And I know that there's little things that we can do every day. And I said to him that I was like, we can just do little things every day. We can just pull out one basket and go through the one basket. And then tomorrow we'll pull out the second basket. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. Jim's a very all or nothing kind of guy. A lot of people are, so I'm not judging him, but just that's where one of the ways we differ is I'm fine to just make it like if, if we only have energy to take nips out of a project, like my bathroom, I will show you a before and after of my bathroom if I can remember, because it took me five days to clean my bathroom and change out the decor. And I didn't even decorate for Easter. I just meant to take down the Valentine's Day stuff. And I don't mean Valentine's Day decor, like the red, you'll see. <laughs> and to clean the counter and to clean the mirrors. And it is a little bit more of an intense spring cleaning cleaning, but if so, if it takes me five days, I don't care. It's five days, I got done. 
I gotta do what I gotta do. You guys gotta do what you gotta do. Give yourself grace. Give yourself time. What am I rushing for? I don't have company coming tomorrow. I am... I work from home. When I work, I can give myself the grace to get things done at a pace that my body can tolerate. And that's important. It's important. Um... Yeah, I know. It is a... <sighs> um... It is a lot. I'm not sure why, but for the last five or six days, I have a continuous stream of thoughts of my little brother stories old stories new stories me inserting myself in dreams in my dreams i'm inserting myself into stories that i know that took place without me um just tons of stuff it's just my brain is on overdrive my heart is repairing itself but it's taking a lot longer than i imagined it would my sister said get out of my own head and it's really difficult to do. I don't know how to do that right now. Every time I try, I fail, but I keep trying and I keep failing. And after a while that hurts, that's hard. So I'm trying. Um, I miss you guys, I miss working. I was so excited to start creating last week. I got like some of my ideas jotted down on the notepads but will I get them done I don't even know I don't even know so um it's hard it's hard for my family right now um thank god and the thank the United States of America that we got a stimulus check which really helped us a lot um catch up on a lot of things um, like many of you, I'm sure. Um, so, we take each day we can. I'm back to taking everything hour by hour, minute by minute, or or 20 minute times blocks or 10 minute time blocks. Whatever I can manage, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to um, to just balance, to find balance. And I'm trying to... Um, I'm trying, that's it. Of course, lousy weather doesn't help, um, but I am finding that beautiful weather doesn't help that much either. <laughs> A wall fell down in my garden and I only have, besides my hedges, I only have three plants that grow out of all the plants that we had when we moved in because the azaleas and rhododendron got some kind of disease that they shared with each other that jumped over the carport. But a wall fell down and it is sitting on top of one fourth of my irises, which makes me my heart smile in the springtime when they bloom. So I really have got to get those pieces of wool off my irises. The Hosta that's there. Um, Hosta is usually pretty hardy, so I'm not so worried about that. But I need to get them off my irises. Those leaves need to get sunlight, and they need to have room to bloom. Um, plus, we have to fix the wall. I have these little planter walls between my carport bricks, and um, basically, when we had those extreme temperatures a couple of weeks ago. Um, like water had gotten into the dirt of the planter and froze and contract so quickly that it pushed the wall out. It's pretty much what happened. So um, it wasn't attached to the um, to the supports for the carport. Somebody had just built it like a planter box between them. So it's it's not structurally. There's nothing wrong with the carport structure. So I wanted to give you guys a rest assure on that, but. 
Um, but it's just like, I don't want to say it's disheartening because anything that goes wrong is, can, can be disheartening. But it's just like, oh, I just want to get it done. I just want to get these things done. I just, I just want to feel good enough to go outside and work on it a little bit, you know? Anywho, sorry, Jim keeps jumping in and I mean, that's really what I'm here for, so. Um, despite how I'm feeling, loneliness and sadness, missing my brother more than I've missed him in the last eight years, not seeing him. I've mentioned this before, knowing that he's out there and that I was gonna see him again someday really did make it a little bit more tolerable. I just knew that whatever we were going through, we would get through. But trying to deal with the fact that that's not going to happen is huge. I have gone through all of the stages twice. <laughs> I'm going through, could I have done more? Um, that survivor's guilt that I wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. There, nothing makes sense. You know, those kinds of things. Um, it just is, it just is what it is. And I don't like that it is what it is, but we're dealing with it. And then some moments I feel great. And I almost feel like just listening to myself or as I write down or as I journal and I read back at the journal and I'm like, oh my gosh, you sound like you have bipolar disorder because sometimes you're like so sad and then you're like, oh, so happy. And not that I diminish anybody's bipolar disease, obviously. I know that's a true thing, but that's how I'm feeling. And I said, and on top of that, one of the things I was telling Jim was, I know that menopause has a lot to do with this because women without loss go through menopause and have like this whole hormonal up and down and up and down uh, fluctuation of emotions and feelings and everything. Not feeling good, feeling exhausted, feeling pumped, feeling all of the feelings. And um, they haven't had loss and they still do this. So, oh, um, so when you combine those things, you know, and then obviously going through a lifestyle change of eating, um, going through my own personal eating change for the first time in my life, having to deal with these emotions without being able to just feed them the way they want to be fed. That's a challenge too. And I, I'm sure, I'm 100% sure I'm not the only person going through this. And I've mentioned this every time I've done a complaint vlog. That's what somebody called it once. Um, that I know this isn't the worst thing that people have gone through in the world. This is just the worst thing that I've, I've gone through. Um, thank God. And... I like being able to talk to you guys, even if it is just talking out stuff. Um, I'm going through this thing where I, I feel like I'm always sad, so I don't really want to burden my friends, even though they're telling me, go ahead and call me anyway. It's just really difficult. Um, times in my past that I've gone through similar things, um, I've also done the same thing. I'm not trying to push people out of my life or cut people out of my life. It's just that I, I'm really trying to focus on my healing and I don't wanna, definitely don't wanna bring anybody down. When you're used to being the uplifter, <laughs> and you're going through something and you feel like you really can't hold people up anymore, it's hard. It's a very hard place to be. I try, I try. I'm doing sometimes, I do sometimes, you know, Yoda says do or do not, there is no try. But um, yeah, I mean, 
I want to thank you for having this chat with me in the car while we're waiting for Jim um, to run into the store while we're having a visit <laughs> while we're out of the house yay out of the house um, I have The opportunity, the the vaccination, is going coming back here um, in April, which is good. Then I can get my first shots of vaccine. I hope that they do the food service people soon. I mean, if anybody from the Department of Health is watching, this is ridiculous that you don't let the restaurant people who handle the food that are going directly into people's mouths without being heat treated or wiped down. <laughs> are getting the vaccine last out of all the people who do food handling. It's crazy. It's crazy, in my opinion, but okay. Um, but you do you, boo. They're going to be the last phase. <laughs> oh, well, with the rest of the general public. Restaurant workers are the last phase with the rest of the general public. So, that's it. Um, that's all of the updates that I have for now. I think, if I think of anything else, I'll let you know. Love you. As always, take care. God bless. See you next time.